Hello students, continuing with our syllabus for laser, uh, fundamentals of laser system and analysis. Today we are going to discuss the third unit which consists of laser components that is the principle and types, the main components of laser, what is the principle of laser action then an introduction to two level, three level and four level lasers, the co continuous wave and the pulse lasers and how short pulses are generated and their measurement. So let us begin. The very famous question which is asked in almost all exams where laser is being run are, what are the main components with which a laser is formed. So the correct answer for this is that in order to make a laser or the necessary conditions for laser action are we need an active system or an active medium which in the form of matter should be there. Then we need a pumping source so that population inversion can be achieved. Then we need an optical resonator or a setup of optical cavities which will contain the active medium and it is going to serve to store the emitted radiation and provide feedback to maintain the coherence of radiation. So here we will be putting the active medium. Here we are having our two set of uh, uh, mirrors and the energy input. This is going to be our laser cavity and here we will have the output beam. Now, active medium. What they usually ask here in the lengthy questions is that what are the types of active mediums in general for a laser setup? So active medium in laser system is basically where a beam of light is going to amplify so that the process of stimulated emission can come up. As I have told you in the previous lectures, the full form of laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So we need the process of stimulated emission or we can say the gain medium which is responsible for producing gain and subsequent generation of this laser beam. So for your syllabus you just need to know is the solid state that is the ruby laser or the three level laser for the liquid state, organic dye lasers, for uh, semiconductor type, the galenium arsenide, and gaseous laser, the very famous helium neon laser, or the four level energy setup. So, this is how you are going to draw the table and explain. Pumping, what is pumping? Pumping is done to obtain population inversion. That is, the number of excited atoms in the higher state should be more compared to the lower state. Only then laser action can be achieved. So, pumping is we provide for an external source of energy which helps in obtaining maximum number of atoms in the excited energy energy state compared to your lower energy state. So pumping, there can be many types, optical pumping, electrical pumping, etc., where the process is only to achieve population inversion. Now, optical resonator system. What is an optical resonator system? This is a section B question. It has been asked many times. Let us look at this diagram first. Here is my active medium. Here are my two sets of mirrors, which are going to give us a good output of coherent beam. And this is my optical cavity. Now, this optical resonator is designed to maximize the process of stimulated emission. So it consists usually of a cylindrical tube where we are having two mirrors which are facing each other and their centers are on the optic axis of the laser. 
two ends of the mirrors are silvered and one is 100% reflective whereas the other is partially so that light can build up many number of multiple reflections which pass through the laser medium. And because of this setup, a very intense output beam highly directional will be obtained which we require or which is the property of a laser light also. Now what is the principle of laser action? In section A if it is asked the simple answer is stimulated emission. If it is asked in section B or section C, then it becomes a lengthy question. So what happens? All atoms are lying in their ground state. When they receive energy from external source, only those atoms whose frequency matches, they get up to the excited state. They stay there for 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. And then through the process of spontaneous emission, they drop down to the lower energy level emitting light. Now, for this process to become stimulated, we need a metastable state so that atoms can stay there for a longer period of time compared to 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. And this, uh, usually it is 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds where the atoms stay there. When they drop down, they cause induced emission in other excited atoms and and this way, we will get an intense beam, which is monochromatic, collimated, and highly directional. So the uh, principle of laser action is stimulated emission of radiation. Lasers are classified as type 1, uh, type 2, yeah, uh, or you can say uh, 2 level, 3 level, 4 level, or you can also classify them on the basis of their output. That means on the basis of output, the lasers that give us a continuous output, continuous wave lasers, they are known as continuous wave lasers, like the famous gaseous laser helium neon laser where output is in the form of pulses it is known as a ruby laser is an example of pulses on the basis of active medium if you want to compare the lasers then solid state laser where active medium is solid state liquid or dye laser where active medium is in the form of liquid, gas lasers where active medium is in the form of gas. So this is what we have studied in today's lecture.